Uh, suppose you flip a coin, flip a coin ten times, and count the number of heads, the number of heads you get in these ten flips. Uh, this is an example of a binomial distribution with random variable x equal the number of heads in 10 tries. And um, it's an example of a discrete distribution. And for a binomial distribution has certain characteristics which I want to define. So in any binomial distribution, in any binomial distribution, there's number one, n independent trials, and uh, for the coin flipping, since we flip 10 times, n equals 10 for the coin flipping. Uh, there are two outcomes. Outcomes. Uh, one is labeled a success, the other labeled a failure, and P is the probability of success. Uh, in the coin flipping, uh, we label a head as a success, a tail as a failure, and the probability of flipping a head is 0.5. It's the probability of success since it's a 50-50 shot. And the third thing is the random variable x equals the number of successes in n trials. And x is the random variable, so x would be the number of heads that you get. So what we want to do is calculate probabilities in any binomial distribution. And for doing that, we're going to use the calculator. And I want to give some examples of that, of using the calculator. And I have a printout called the five formulas. It's available in Canvas for this section. Uh, I'm going to refer to it. So for the first example, uh, find the probability of exactly say six heads in 10 flips. Okay, so your job is to identify the N, the P, and the X, and then put it into the calculator correctly. So the 10 flips, so N is 10. The P, the probability of success, since flipping a head, or a, flipping a head is a 50% chance. P is 0.5, and X is the number of successes. X equals six. Now, according to the handout, the probability of exactly n success, x successes and n trials, it's this binome PDF NPX. Now, let me show you where that is on the calculator. If I go to the calculator, and above the VARS is a DISTR, second above there, and then you have to arrow down to get to binome, there it is, binome PDF. So when I go binome PDF, and if I enter in the NP, so the, the syntax for this is NPX. So for this particular example, I want to enter binome PDF. The N is 10, the P is 0.5, the X is 6. And this will give us the probability of getting exactly six heads and 10 flips. So I'm entering 10 comma 0.5 comma 6, about 0 0.205 to three decimal places, about a 20% chance. Now, just as one other comment about doing this, 
Uh, if I have the stat wizard on, mine was off right now. If I turn the stat wizard, there it is, on, it'll give you a menu to enter. So if I do the same exact thing and enter distributions and go to binome PDF, see, then it gives you, prompts you for the trials is 10, the probability of success is 0.5, the number of successes you want is 6, and then when you hit paste, of course, it gives you the same thing and the same answer. I think I'll leave the stat wizard on for the rest of these. Now, there's five possible formulas to use here. Five different kinds of questions. I want to give you at least an example of each kind. So that was the first kind, which was exactly X successes in N trials. Let's try another example. Now let's get away from coin flipping. Uh, suppose a wilt, let's do an example from sports, uh, probability that wilt makes a free throw, I'm talking about basketball here, is 0.509 of six free throws Find probability wilt makes at most four. Okay, now this is a little bit question. If he makes at most four, he does that doesn't mean he's making exactly four, it means he makes zero, one, two, three, or four. And according to this chart here. Probability of at most X successes and N trials. Instead of binome PDF, we're going to go with binome CDF. Be careful there. So this is going to be binome CDF. N is the number of trials, six free throws. The probability of success is 0.509. And making at most four, the X is four. And on the calculator, distributions, the binome CDF is right underneath the binome PDF, and I have the wizard on, so the number of trials is 6, the probability of success is 0.509, and the number of successes is 4. What this does, it adds up the probabilities of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the answer I get 0.882 if I ran that off to three decimal places. 0.882. Okay, so that was Wilt. I am perhaps dating myself by mentioning Wilt. Anyway, uh, here's another example. Let's take an, uh, this one I, uh, example. Finding a pearl in an oyster has probability equal to 0.372 I just made that up of seven oysters find the probability of less than two pearls. Okay, so notice this one says less than. According to my five formulas chart, the less than, that's number three, a probability of less than x successes in n trials. It's binome CDF n p x minus one. So for this one, I'm going to go binome CDF n is seven oysters. Probability of success is 0.372, and it's less than 2, and notice it said x minus 1, x minus 1 for the formula. So instead of 2, I'm going to put in 1, because 2 minus 1 is 1, and when I go to the calculator for that one, let's see, when I go to the calculator for that one, when I go to the distributions, binome CDF, 
uh, I'm going, the trials is point is seven. The probability of success is point three, seven, two. And how many successes we want uh, the third parameter to be one. So this is going to accumulate the probability of zero plus the probability of one and 0.198 is the answer the calculator spits out. Now, there's another couple of other kinds of examples. So we did exactly at most less than. Here is another kind of example. So let's go to probability that Steph makes a free throw is 0.907. So let's try this of 12 free throws. Find the probability Steph makes more than nine okay so this one uh, this is the fourth thing probability of more than x successes and n trials notice we're actually using a complement rule here it's one minus binome cdf npx so this is going to be one minus binome cdf npx so in this example, one minus binome CDF n is the number of trials. So there's 12 free throws. Uh, the probability of success is 0 0.907. And the X value is makes more than nine. Now you have to be a little bit careful when you do this one on the calculator. You have to start with the one and then do the minus and then do the binome CDF thing. So it's binome CDF uh, 12.907, whoops, 12, arrow down, 0.907, and then the X value is 9. So notice it's doing 1 minus, make sure you're doing that for one of these. And that comes out about 0.906 to three decimal places. 0.906. Okay, now let's suppose, let's go with, let's see, I guess a knowledge of sports is not a prerequisite for this, but let's do, there's one more kind of example that uses the five formulas. So let's try another one. Probability, the Maple Leafs win a game is 0.523. So let's say of eight games, find the probability the Maple Leafs win at least four. Okay, now this says at least, not more than four, at least four. And here is on the five formulas, probability of at least X successes, one minus binome CDF N P X minus one. So this is going to be one minus binome CDF N P X minus one, which for this example is one minus binome CDF N is the number of trials. There's eight games. The probability of success at least when at least four. So the N is four, the X is four, but I want to go X minus one, which is three. And again, make sure you start with the one minus before you go into the binome CDF thing. Uh, binome CDF is there. And this time the number of trials is eight. The probability of success is 0.523.
and the x value is 3. So notice it gives 1 minus the binome CDF, and when I hit the enter, probability about 0.686 to three decimal places. Okay, now in the homework, there's one more example that I want to do that they give that has to do with acceptance sampling. So here's an example of what they call acceptance sampling. So in a batch of say 5,000 batteries, a buyer selects 50 and accepts the batch if there are zero or one defective. Uh, the defect rate is 2%. Uh, find the probability the batch is accepted. Okay, so your job here is to figure out how this fills in, how this fits into the five formulas. So it's identifying the N, the P, and the X. So in this example, Uh, the number of trials is the 50 batteries. N is 50. Now, to get 0 or 1 defective, that means you want at most 1 defective. So it's at most 1 defective. That's actually the X is at most 1. And I'm doing this a little bit out of order. So the probability of success is actually the probability of defective here, which is 2%, which as a decimal is 0 0.02. So this one, at most one defective, I'm going to go to the at most one success. So it's this one, binome CDF NPX, binome CDF NPX which in this case, this is the probability the batch is accepted equals binome CDFN is 50 trials. The probability of success here, which is a defect, is 0.02. And we want at most one defective. So at most one was X, which is one there. And on the calculator, let's go down to binome CDF, uh, 50.02, 1, and that comes back as 73.736 is the probability that that batch is being accepted.